sad day to be alive. Okay. Oh, just a slider until the file D logo is barely visible against the black background. This is barely visible for me. But on stream, I'm guessing I'm gonna have to go like this. Oliver Hamilton. Sergeant. Um, uh, me? Password? Uh, password. Huh? <laughs> um. Oh, they're testing me if I can read. Although technically, is it all in capital? Well, not Hamil Shun. JPM1121. I don't know how that came to be. Okay, it's not case sensitive. In texture quality for the Unreal Engine means like low. I don't know why this became a thing, but it is. Um, yeah, view distance. We go from epic to low. And then it reverts back to... If I go on the view distance one back, it goes to low. And then medium, and then high, and then epic. If I go forward, it goes to low, medium, high, epic. So which one is the right one? Gameplay! English! Dutch! Russian! Francais! Turkey! I think it's a Turkish game. Because as soon as you see Turkey, nobody translates it to Turkey. So if you see Turkish, it means there's a very good chance this game is from Turkey. Uh, continue now. New game. Can I log out? Can I change my ID? Is this my Steam account ID that people can hack into now? Crime Scene Investigation! OTPD! Police line, do not cross. Hi, I'm Liz. Welcome to the crime scene simulation, Oliver. Thanks for stating the obvious, Liz. I will be helping you throughout the simulation. The place you are about to enter is, simply put, a virtual reality. You won't get hurt in any ways and even when you make a mistake, we can start all over again. <laughs> are you sure I won't get hurt, Liz? <laughs> the place you are about to enter is, simply put, a virtual reality. You won't get hurt in any ways, and even when you make a mistake, we can start all over again. Jeez, I was just kidding, Liz. Relax. Thanks to our advanced technology, we are able to solve unsolved murders by simulating the crime scene. Uh, hey Liz? Yes, Oliver? Let's just determine a safe word for us just in case, okay? Look, um, I don't know, teddy bear? Okay, Oliver, teddy bear it is. <laughs> Thank you. I'm now simulating the file assigned to you to solve your mystery of the murder, the file D. <laughs> you may have to look closely to see some details. Right click to zoom. Um, are they using the horror engine? Oh, 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 wow, oh, wow, this is so low. Um, thank you for changing the options menu, much appreciated on that, but, um... Where's the mouse? What is 30? What is 30 speed mouse reverting? Inverting the mouse, what, all the directions? I think that's a little bit too much. Um, is this working? Oh, I have to click apply. Oh, it's like very weird. It's like the speed is there, but not there at the same time. There's like a lot of drag and not at the same time. I think they have like acceleration like really low. They don't disable it. What does 20 mouse mean? I don't know what 20 acceleration mouse means, honestly. I love it when every single game has its own maximum to minimum acceleration, you know? Okay, I think it's fine now, but there's still a lot of drag. Congratulations. You now know how to see details. <laughs> There may be some evidences behind closed doors, in drawers or cabinets. You have to make sure you check everywhere for the evidence. Also, I have left a present in the drawer for you. Huh? Okay, this is the training grounds, right? So I get used to the virtual AI because... Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean there's evidence hidden in a virtual reality thing? Is this like a virtual crime that happened? Oh, it's a shadow disappearing. I thought it was the glove, not the glove, what do you call it? The, the doggy bag? A package used properly, used to properly store evidence. There is lots of those around, these around. 
chain of custody. There's nobody with the chain of custody. Can I zoom in? No. Good. Looks like you opened the drawer. Ha! Huh. There should be a lighter there for you to examine. Um. Please take the lighter to inspect. Oh, it hits my body and I can't open it. This looks like an object of evidence. You should carefully examine the objects of evidence. Uh, US Police Department of Defense. Fair enough, I guess nowadays the American police force is basically part of the DOD. From Ohio, very funny. Evidence! Lighter gas, a metal lighter that looks like manufactured by Zippo. Very funny. It's hard to find some original craft like this. The engraving on top of it hints that this belongs to Oliver Hamilton from Ohio. Police Department. Oh, that's mine. Congratulations. I'm adding this item to your inventory now for you to use. That's great. This is my lighter. Feels good to have something of my own here. But it's not real. It's virtual reality. We talked about this, Thomason. What does it do? Um, not much, actually. Swipe? Swipe? Swipe. Swipe with the... Remember, if you turn too fast or if you keep it burning for a long time, it may leave you in the dark. Also, oh. you can see the evidences you found and take a look at them again, just in case you miss something. Oh, I have for inventory. Uh, no, no, no. Lastly, you can take a look at the notes you took and review your thoughts on the events here. Thank you. <laughs> no, hold on. What did you say, L? Open lighter, one. Oh, one, not L. No, it is L. Wait, how do... Wait, it's not... Okay, one to open lighter. Impressive the lighter stays on by itself without keeping the thing pressed down. I guess it's it's cyberpunk. L, is the lighter gonna be a mechanic? Because it seems really complicated to press one and then swipe or all the way to the L key and then for me to press one again to switch it off. It feels like I can just re-swipe it, but I guess not. Journal. We are ready to be begin now. No. Hey, Liz? Are you there? Liz? Are you there? Shit, shit! I was just kidding, Oliver. <laughs> you got me this time. Uh, let's get this over with. <laughs> okay. Okay, what a weird start. Let's just go keep on going for now. Oh, it doesn't switch on. Can you put away your... <laughs> Evidence! Um, no, this is definitely not evidence with the tape. Fancy looking glasses, I can imagine what these doctors... I can imagine what the doctors wearing this. Good news, everybody! They didn't! Police tape, insignificant. The police conducted an investigation here before, but... They did not find much evidence. The team has covered some areas with this tape in order to protect the evidence, but it seems to have done more harm than good. But what do you mean? It's just a tape. What do you mean it has done more harm than good? It's just a tape. Pills. Insignificant again. Common disc shaped tablets. I should not be surprising lots of these since I'm in the hospital. Are we? Okay. Common disc shaped tablets. A lighter item. It, it can be used to refill the lighters that are out of gas. Oh no. We're gonna do this? No, it's for me, I think. <laughs> hello hello blender cycled thing oh my god refill uh it can i think it's either super beans i wish i had the tin opener with me are you hungry in the vr world evidence seal a package is properly stored the evidence there are lots of these around okay uh-huh no this is not properly sealed baseball bat what's surprising i can be found in a hospital I guess it must have belonged to one of the kids. That's a big assumption. Uh, which kid would break a baseball bat here? Bartners. What, the developers are making fun of me when I make fun of other things? Joke's on you, you guys are fun. Wire cutters, a wire cutter with which only cable can be cut. If it was something bigger, I could use it to break locks. Can't you cut locks with these? Like, just the tip on it, you know? Okay. Oh, I can't run. I don't have feet, fair enough, this is the VR world, I'm just a floating head, I guess. What, controlled crouch? Ah, do not cross. 
Oh no, they did more harm than good with a tape. Um. Okay, how does this work? Open. And there. <laughs> Nothing to say honestly so far. Generic hospital number 293. Oh no, the blood. It's gonna need a key. Okay, wait. Okay, wait, 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 wait. We're inside the VR world. Investigating or something, right? Why is there a locked door? Also, why is it not light? Also, how could you miss evidence if you already have the evidence? Unless you scan the room and you already know the evidence. So if you know already the evidence, why would that evidence be there and not be tagged by the police? You know what I mean? What? Is there a twist at the end? Um, a saw. I don't know why you need a saw in the hospital. Honestly, I don't know. I don't want to know. Typical American cop beyond stupid. A medical device. I do not know what it is. It's a, it's a cane for little noses. Bandages. A wound dressing made with well, standard item available in a hospital. B. Well, I guess not in hospital. A. This handwriting is unreadable. Very funny. But I don't think it's a big deal. It must belong to one of the secretaries here. No, that's doctor writing. Hello, acid syringe. A strange looking syringe. Scary looking. What is a syringe? What? Is a syringe this size used for? Um, uh, maybe the person has rabies. I'm a very judgmental person. I mean, I know I'm in real life, but still. Hold on. Yeah, swipe. Okay. Scissors, medical scissors. A pile of medical instruments contains a stethoscope, blood pressure monitor, and thermometer. It looks like a doctor starter kit. Doctors don't have starter kits! What the fuck is a doctor starter kit? Okay, first day on the job here, doctor. After 10 years of learning how to be a doctor, here's your kit to start. There's a man dying from a pancreatic explosion in the waiting room. Here, let me take your temperature, your blood pressure. Oh no, he's dead. A doctor starter kit! What? No, such a thing doesn't exist. Shut the fuck up. If it does exist, it's just like, it's just like, you know, to, to like, make people feel better about themselves. Hey, I've seen this bed. Oh my god, it's a bed from Ebola. A hand crank, a construction tool. No, it isn't. Construction in the hospital. No! It's for old timey thing when they drill things in your head. I'm a, I'm a police officer that doesn't know anything excellent. I don't think I'm the man for the job, honestly, here. Not that I'm in real life. Hi, Ebola. I'm tiny, apparently. I'm manlet! Okay, this is a bed for manlets, and the rest is for giants. By the way, how is my lighter doing? My lighter is running out real fast. Okay, no, if we're gonna be like this... If we're gonna... You know, you people can shut the fuck up, honestly, with your stupid gamma. You, you know, honestly, game developers can now they shut the fuck up. If, if you're gonna make me run out of lighter, I'm just gonna increase the brightness to maximum. There we go. Oh, another Zippo. Bag of cigarettes. An old brand from the look of it. Are you gonna smoke? A very old brand of cigarettes. They no longer produce this brand. I guess this hospital has everything that is not beneficial to human health. Oh. Do you know this? Or... Why are you in this investigation if you already know but you don't know at the same time? Oh, look at all the Zippo fluids. Excellent. Huh? <laughs> um, symbolism? I lost my, my daughter, my wife, my son in a hospital by getting stabbed with a needle. Their intestines fell out. Yep. Locked. Just what I thought. If that's what you thought, then why did you even have the option of opening the door here? Also, that isn't locked. We're in the virtual AIs, no? Why would... Why would the door be locked for a... For investigator? Also, if you already know all this information, what do you need me for to reinvestigate? What are we doing here? Aesthetic, I don't know who this is. Maybe hypocrite. Hypocrite. Oh, red. Hypocritic. Oh, hypocritic. Okay. Uh-huh. What's this? Room 34, key. 
Yeah, there must be something that I'm missing. You're missing at the fact that there isn't a lock on that, and it's most likely made of plastic reinforcement, and you can easily crack that open. But what do I know apparently, because I'm just a cop who doesn't know anything. Did we start with a crying bit? Is anyone there? We started with a crying baby while wow, this is record time. Uh, wrench. The hospital was going undergoing renovations at the time of the incident. It can also be for assault. I don't even want to know what kind of experimental medication they gave to the people here. A syrup bottle without a name or a description on it except a cross. Were they worried about revealing what drugs were given to the patients? I don't think that's impossible since you can easily, like, run tests on it. Nothing that might have happened at this hospital would surprise me. I'm pretty sure there are they are trying these drugs on patients here. Uh, okay. Just need to find some gas. Man, go and eat your ass. There are lots of needles in this place. It may have been used for some reasons, for many reasons, good and bad. Evidence bag. Of course the cops weren't able to find anything useful. <laughs> what? But we're in a VR world! Everything was scanned! How would they miss this information? And most important... Who conducted the investigation then? Oh, I can't go through here. Sorry, it's a sequence. Yep, locked. Just what I thought. Um, room 34. Hold on, let me very slowly try to find room 34. Although most likely it doesn't matter, I'd need to... Oh, it was for you. That's why the baby attracted me over here. The police tape has done more harm than good. X-rays of the patients here. I'm gonna guess I did the X-rays because apparently I'm a very, st very stupid cop. Bullet! 3.57 bullet, an empty bullet shell. 3.57 magnum bullet. It's in multiple firearms. The gun that was used may not be far from here. He apparently it ran on Mac, but also, what? I better keep this with me. There should be... What? Keep this with you? We're in VR! What are you doing? There should also be a gun somewhere around here. How do you know this with a VR if there was a gun? You... What? The gun can reveal the case to its entirety if this is the murder weapon. Not really. Hold on, let me add fuel. There. One entire fuel stack, baby. And their baseball bat, this is for kids. And apparently it couldn't be used for murder. And another Zippo Biper. Teddy bear? Damn. When you said teddy bear, did you mean this one? That's been stabbed with the... Ah, I cut it open. Um, do you mean that or do you mean help? A uh, pocket watch. Pocket watch! This is a pocket watch! Okay, by Bill Gates. Can I interact with it? No. A pocket watch the size of your fist. A clock written in Roman numerals, I think its battery is dead. Good for this watch, it's in a bear game right now. Oh no. Are you seriously gonna lock me in this room for the next two hours while I try to figure out what I need to do? I'm stuck in here with my nightmares. I shot a bunch of innocent people investigating and I'm having a mental breakdown or something. I think it's the VRs, but it isn't. Is this woman? That's a woman? That's a shadow. Is she doing the peacock? Are, are we supposed to have other people in this simulation? Shit, it sounds like I lost her. <laughs> Shut the fuck! Why? Why was she doing the peacock with her hand behind her waist, you know? That thing that you do with the tail, like the peacock? A uh, ballpoint pen. Evidence bag. Of course, the cops weren't able to find anything useful. I'm a robot, I'm stuck on loop. I keep on using the same voice lines. It's, I think this game was AI generated. I think this game was AI generated. Oh, look at sequence. More Bipo lighters, and now this is a pocket watch. The pocket watch must have belonged to one of the old professors working at the hospital. 
Okay. And question marks. Yeah, are they supp supposed to symbolize my idiocy? A lockpick. Might try to open one of the chests with this. <laughs> Locksmith set. Uh, with one key, subtitles, small locks attached to the chest and boxes can be opened with this. Again, remember we're in a VR, okay? We're in a VR and we're lockpicking. A random pile of papers. There's nothing much to see here. And nothing much to see here. And a bull. Oh, nothing. <laughs> what is th By the way, I just have a question. Are these the AC unit things that go, you know, from the outside, but game developers are too lazy, so they put them inside instead of, like, actual fans that suck in the thing, you know, like the air? Or, or, am, I, or am I wrong? Am I in the wrong here? Because every single horror game uses the AC unit thing, you know, the unit thing outside? They use that! This is an AC unit thing! Am I wrong? For example, in bathrooms, you know, they have that little thing that, like, sucks out air. And, uh, or you have, a, you have a humidifier. Or dehumidifier. Like, you can tell what they are. Am I wrong? This is killing me. Every time I see this, I'm like, what are you doing? Throwing in hot air or cold air, like, inside the room? Well, technically, it should be hot air. Oh, no, I'm stuck in here for the next two hours. Okay, did I miss this? No, just random piles of paper. Hey, what time it is? <laughs> I see you, I see you too, bitch. <laughs> there, I see you. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> um, a little bit too old for me, I think, but you know, whatever. Something is definitely off here. No, what gave it away? What gave you away? Something was wrong here, being in a VR world where nothing works. This is a test, right? They're testing me if I'm good at investigating. This is a training simulator. Also, where was the... Where was... Oh, I thought the wheelchair was attacking me. I think it was here? Yeah, activate? Um... Oh, yeah, here it is. Hello, Skyrim. Um, slightly rooted lockpick and try to push the lock on the correct spot. Oh. Very sensitive. For the first time ever, I can officially say the Skyrim lockpicking is actually better than this. A patient report including information about the patient's conditions and diseases. Also includes a brief com commentary from the doctor. Doctors are not streamers, they shouldn't be randomly commenting. Um, yeah, inspect. Result of the examinations, the patient was diagnosed with chronic schizophrenia. Okay. Received and reported on 2008. I think the developers are a little bit full of themselves. In 2008, we're still eating rocks, honestly, as human beings. And we're VR investigators. Hi. Fuck, fuck, fuck. It's she's cute. I mean, in a milfy way, blonde as well, you know. Oliver, take a easy, man. We don't need to be sexist now. Are you scared of older women, Oliver? Why is the light here glowing? What I'm going to do? Drugs? Shoot up drugs in the bathroom? Typical police officer from Ohio. Not surprising, honestly. You know, once in Ohio, always in Ohio. Hold on! Don't miss the jump scare. Oh no, the wheelchair is confused, going through walls! Oh no... The exit was here, but not anymore. The walls are closing in. It's a sequence! The sequence! You gotta be kidding me, I must be losing my mind here. You're an officer in Ohio, you already lost your mind a long time ago. Fuck. The exit? But is it truly open? Jesus. Hold on, 
That's not Mr. Jump Scare. Yeah. Oh. Boo? No. Sorry, the VR world is so, like, low quality, it has to, like, load itself. This lighter's running out of gas. Hold on. Hold on. D don't scare me. Hold on. Okay, now I can see with my, with my Zippo lighter. Are you ready to play? What is this? One of you kids died, most likely. What do you think with horror games? <gasps> Daughter, son, wife, grandmother, grandfather, dad, mother, family, relatives. Oh no, the walls are closing again. I'm sorry. Who's blowing up my lighter every time? You can shut the fuck up with that. What the heck? Um, for those people out there who are sexy, cute, smart, fit, hot pieces of ass that like, our genetic perfection that need to procreate have the IQ the size of giant hemispheric balls I just want you to go back for a second in the video if you can I think on YouTube you can and I just want you to just pay attention to the subtitle the guy said what the heck the developers most likely used an auto translator from Adobe Premiere and the heck became hack so my character literally just, I'm gonna guess as a pun, said, what the heck? But it came out as what the heck? Because I'm gonna guess the voice actor was told to say what the heck? And the uh, subtitle said what the heck? I feel like this game was made by 10 different people from 10 different countries in 10 different time zones. And all of them were AI. Very topical, thank you. <laughs> just a wheelchair in the corner. <laughs> Hello, blood. Jesus, this place looks like a slaughterhouse. <laughs> if you just told me what happened here, I'd understand. I don't know. I don't know. What my character is keeping stuff away from himself and me. You know what I mean? Well, this is where we recycle body parts, just in case. It's a slaughterhouse, see? Because people die in hospitals. Boo! What? This is ray tracing. More tablets. I don't even want to know what kind of experimental medication they gave to the people here. It's morphine! <laughs> Typical cop from Ohio doesn't know morphine. Uh, that's what they call it Sunday night. Uh, Farjutsnila solution. What the fart? As far as I know, this is used to treat burns and wounds. So this is, this is not experimental. Morphine is experimental. All right, let's see what we got here. Doesn't look like any of this stuff's gonna help me out. Then why are we looking at this? Well, I didn't know in 2008 we had pictures from 1992. Ship industries continues. Industry tries for over 20 years. Oh, it's a sociopolitical commentary about the sheeple. Let's say in 2008, for one entire dollar, you could get a newspaper. For Soldier Grant! Latest news and pictures, entire hospital under investigation after shootings. Investigation started with ghost nurses. Police launched investigation into the murder. Many people were taken into custody, including the hospital administration. There are numerous suspects about the case, but the real identity of the murder is still unknown. Let me guess, it's me or something. The hospital management is being held responsible for the possible security gaps. Police sealed the hospital after murders because more ghostly nuns were in there. And... What did it say? The newspaper was printed around the time of happenings. No, not really, not in 2008. There may be some information there that can help me understand the overall picture better. Well, nurses working in the hospital went crazy and caused the death of many babies. I don't think a 62 year old man is a baby. Police sealed the hospital after the murders. Police launched an investigation of the hospital. Many people were taken in custody. That's not how it works if you know the one nurse. But I guess you know what do I know? Why would you need the first aid kit in a hospital? Why would you need the first aid kit in a hospital? I mean, everything here is the is first aid, isn't it? Um... Okay, I'm a cop from Ohio. 
I don't know anything, fair enough, but um, in relation to the developers, I hope you guys wanted to set up that stupid joke that isn't even funny, right? Otherwise, are you guys stupid? This is like saying, why didn't the surgeon for surgery don't hospitals do surgery? What about the tools? The items? A doctor can't first aid without the first aid kit in the case of an emergency in a pack? What, they're gonna run over all over the hospitals to find a couple of bandages and sewing kits? Let me guess, I'm locked in here. Oh no, okay, I'm not locked in here. I thought it was gonna be locked in here for the next two hours trying to figure out how to get out. Ma'am, are you okay? How do you know that's a woman? Oh hey, the Silent Night Grandma animation where she's depressed and crying in the middle of the ocean. Hi. My perfect woman of three meters tall just has appeared. Take me away by the payphones in the hospital. Oh, we have to pay. We're in America. We even pay for our phone calls to the family when your family member dies. Oh, smell. Well, good thing our lighter went out. Otherwise, this entire place might explode then. Oh, no. Oh, no. Where are we? <laughs> Man, I'm so sorry. I'm trying so hard to keep this, like, interesting. I can't. I'm falling asleep, actually. Um, what is this? What, I can lockpick this? Password should be written down somewhere. Why would it be written down somewhere in here? Please tell me the reason. What, on the buttocks of this dead person? On these diapers? Uh, June 2021. Even worse! Uh, anti -pat -pat medicine. This is used to prevent blood clots. Okay. This is even worse, it's in June 2021, so when did they take that newspaper? From the vintage market? Oh hey, look, the abyss. Okay, it's written somewhere, the code is written somewhere. The code is written somewhere. 454. This person's identities. Why did... What, you got a boner? Good for you! Oh no, the gun that was here somehow our investigation scanning unit. They don't find this gun, but found it and the cops didn't find it. In 2021, with a newspaper from the 1950s. A revolver, this is a standard police gun. <laughs> don't I call it? So the guys who came here might have left it here. This gun is also very popular among the folks living here, so it might have come from outside. Okay, I'm sorry, I need to read that sentence again. A revolver. This is a standard police gun. So the guys who came here might have left it here. The police came, they most likely shot in the air for some reason, typical American cops, and then they left the gun inside the box. This gun is also very popular among the folks living here, so my, my Ohio police officer is also racist against the local folks for some reason, so it might also have come from the outside. I don't know what that sentence means, but... I'm a very confused cop. By the way, I like the handle, very vintage. Boom. Oh no, one is missing. Yeah, one is missing. 1981 Wesson Magnum, standard issue police gun. Carried by a lot of officers around this area. Explains the 357 bullet I found earlier. I have one of these babies as well. Okay. Um, do you want to look at the code on the gun? The serial number? And maybe match it with the ballistics on the bullet. What, you came in and accidentally shot somebody? Like a mom and a daughter or a son at the same time? Like two in one, you know, two children with one stone as they say? Yeah, take the gun, hide the evidence. So you don't get fired from your cushy job. What does the Zippo thing add honestly to the game? Are you happy? What, <laughs> what sc scary makes you hard? Good for you. Ready scary makes you hard. Oh no, I can't get out! My hands are covered in blood! What? Where did you run off to? Hey, you son of a bitch, where are you going? You stay with me in this bad game! Uh, hi! Um... Are you my grandmother? How did you teleport behind me? Nothing personal, grandson. Okay. What the fuck is going on in this 
fucking simulation. This is the same place. Keep circling around now. It's like one goddamn maze. Well, I mean, what do you expect out of first generation VR and video graphic cards? Do you think it's running on like uh what would NVIDIA name a graphic cards with VR? Wait, a VRX? This is running on VRX. First generation VRX. What did you expect, honestly? Listen, they have to cache the shaders on six gigabytes of VRAM, you know, just saying. Uh, locked. Don't sound so excited, Oliver did nothing. Well, looks like this one's gonna need a key. It just... <laughs> Are those the Simpsons? No, it's Peter Griffin and nobody else. Director's office. Thank you for the straight line I went in and the lighter fluid respond here. Excellent. Are you? Oh, shit, it's locked. Language, motherfucker. Uh, locked. Oi, cunt! This is a family-friendly stream. <laughs> oh, directors. <laughs> well, not a single asset has been left un. Why does my lighter keep on going out every time somebody blows it out? What are the ghosts in the VR system doing? Ghosts in the machine? Oh, look, German. Never mind, it's a German... Well, actually, it could be Turkish and German at the same time. <laughs> Neuro marketing in, in mark and management. Typical Germans uh, messing with our brains, gaslighting us into not paying reparations. A chessboard! The pieces are already placed, it might be hinting something. I honestly couldn't care less, because what is it doing? Like, 2G, 2G, 3B, and like, 7E? It's an old book, it looks like something pretty old with leather cover. The number of antiques I see around amazes me. I can see what people are thinking, says the VR. The ghost in the machines, they see me. <laughs> Fuck me, Todd Howard, I'm so sorry for insulting your lockpicking games, man. How to Waste Time 101. Do you think the developers read the German book on how to waste time? While waiting for their immigration papers? Is that what happened? Ah, more fluid! I opened a lockpick without a lockpick to get some more fluid, excellent! Anarchy, the punishment cell! <laughs> <laughs> no, I called it a Saturday night. Human psychology. Aren't we all humans? Unless you're from Ohio, I guess. Ashtray. This is where you put up their cigarettes, such a nasty thing this is. A torn piece of paper. This is a police department document. That says something about a case related to drugs, but I can't tell what it is. Shit, this scene is so contaminated. There's police shit everywhere. That's the entire point, no? The paper only makes sense when I find the missing piece. When the police officer, Oliver the Idiot, entered the scene to investigate the ruckus that is going on, his teammate said that he was a coward or that he shot off his gun without warning. And he was under the influence of drugs. After this situation, the police department, strangely enough this time around, was ashamed and actually decided to fire him from the job or put him on probation. Thank you, I'll be here the entire week, I just solved the entire case. Psychology of Art. Oh fuck off! I'm a bad dad, I think. This is heartbreaking to see, especially thinking about the horrific things that went around this hospital. Beg. Yeah, I know I'm begging too for release. Well, I need to beg. Hold on, where's my begging? I'm investigator! Yeah, I'm investigating! Yay! Uh, initial psychology. All these books are about psychology. This is a personal knife, different from the medical knives I found earlier. Yeah, no kidding, what gave it away? This obviously belonged to somebody where... Somebody here, I should keep this as evidence as there is an obvious fingerprint on it. Is there? Where? Oh, there. A fingerprint on the knife. I can try to match you using the hospital records. I'll find out who you are soon enough. 
I feel like, you know, using the VR system to scan it would be easier, but I guess what do I know? Uh, boo. Oh no, loss of innocence. Okay, I need the punishment cell. Hold on, daddy's gonna get punished. Isn't that right? Is this a punishment cell? Hi, Peter Griffin. This place gives me the chills. Then wear a sweater. Oh no, the door disappeared behind me. Oh no, I'm gonna get tortured for what I am. Patient with schizophrenia. No. <laughs> it's the torture chair. What is this, a juice box? Medication as usual. Yeah, just as usual. Every day, the same medications. Ah, a fresh pair of fingerprints just for me. Patient reports include information about the patient's condition and disease. It also includes a brief commentary from the doctor. The pathology result of the papilolectinia was determined as a large cell neurondocrine tumor. Thank you. I don't even want to know what kind of experimental <laughs> medication they gave to the people it's here. Just morphine, man! On the patient's fingerprints, specifically on the knife. Travis Foster. Uh, it doesn't match with this one. I should just keep it in case. I'm sorry. Um, when was this taken? Ah, you're gonna show the date! I think it said like 1992, literally. Oh no, pills! I don't even want to know what kind of experimental medication they gave to the people here. It's just pills! Oh my god, my dude! Uh, what? Are you stupid? Hi, Grandma. Hey, hey, wait. Where'd the door go? It's over there, idiot. Oh, there's two of them. Nope. Jesus. <laughs> Why do you look like James Mimosa from Aquaman? What beautiful eyes you have, Grandma. Ah, thank you. Hold on. I see you. My lighter keeps on going out. I don't see you. Oh, no. The walls are closing in. This is a... <laughs> Why are you hiding the door from me, man? Yeah, we're outside, I guess. Oh, I tried the projector. No, the vintage projector won't work. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck? Oh. What? Pull yourself together. Pull yourself together. <gasps> Shit. Shit. Oof. You need to be careful about the gas left in it. Off. That was such a cool moment ruined by the stupid running old lady and my character complaining about the gas in the lighter. I think that sums up the game perfectly. It doesn't have a single moment that isn't ruined by it going too far. Hold on, my gas is being empty. What's even the point of the gas system, honestly? Like, there's plenty of gas and it's, like, useless. Oh no, twinkle twinkle little star. It's scary, though, because it's red, just like Dead Space 9. But I walk on the wall again like Spider-Man? No, I don't. Huh? <gasps> Daddy bear, god damn it. <laughs> Safe word is teddy bear. Although I prefer pickles. In all damage, teddy bear, pressure dismembered. This place is like a living hell. <gasps> the mother of all teddy bears find. Oh, it's teddy bears. Teddy bears. Teddy bears. Teddies! It's no Roosevelt's, but still. What are you hitting me away from, man? What? I have to dodge all the teddy bears? Teddy. You better not be behind me. Teddy bear? Fuck. 
I missed the jump scare because I was near the door because I was actually trying to help the developers by going like this so I can see what's over here. But instead the camera pulled me like this. Unbelievable. Even when I want to help indie developers by seeing the jump scare so I don't miss it, they still fuck up the jump scares. Ooh, sequence. Oh. Close behind me. Where the fuck did that door go? There was a door right here. The doors disappeared behind us like like in a sequence after each other 12 times, man. What's so like very Can you keep my light on, thanks? Here's another door. Are we happy? <laughs> uh... <laughs> What have I done? I shot my family. My beautiful blonde family from the 1982s. <sighs> the art, the horror, the breakdown, the psychopathy within me. Like a nerving system from a machine just spreading with my three identities. <laughs> We're selling someone's information. There you are. I don't know who this wallet belongs to, nor if there's any indication of the person owning this. There are a few business cards inside, so I better check them. Are you not a cop? Um, is this the next game the developers want to make? A loot box game? Or they wish they knew how to make better games? Cleveland Psychology Clinic. Oh, Dr. Elizabeth Seraffer, not in Ohio anymore. This might be something I'm connected with later on, so better keep this with me. Don't be late for your appointment, darling. Do you remember? Vision Medicine Company, Charles Olive. Delicious, should I call this phone number? Hey. Hey, wait a second. This is, uh... This is that one corridor from that all those horror games that uses asset, including Mortuary Assistant. Yeah, yeah, it is! Well, most likely not the table, but like this corridor, I don't know it. What's gonna blow out? Why do you keep on looking, locking me? Hold on. Don't miss the jump scare. Why do you keep on locking me inside rooms? I don't understand the symbolism there. What, you don't make loading screens properly? Oh no, they all see me. The kid sees me. That kid, the eyes are all on me. Oh no, she disappeared! What, one of the developers tried to do artwork and then they couldn't do it when they realized asset flipping is the only thing they can do? Sorry, I know technically it's not an asset flip, but you know, this Persian rug says otherwise. Milady? <laughs> AI generated grandmothers, unbelievable! <laughs> What a bunch of nonsense, honestly. <laughs> and that doesn't look like an old lady's mouth just saying. That looks like something else. You shouldn't put on grandma's lips. Unless she lets you. Look, a family with deformity. The horror. The horror. The horror of our society washing upon us with a Persian rag. Oh. <laughs> you you can't miss her eyes, man. You literally missed her eyes. God, I feel so bad for this AI generated grandmas. No, okay. Oh no, I'm a murderer. I murdered so hard. Only God can judge me, and he judged me. A monster. It's saying murder, I think. Huh? <gasps> what is this Roadrunner moment? <laughs> beep beep! Man, honestly, if it was me, I'd just go through that. Just, I wouldn't even notice it, honestly. I feel like it would have been a cooler thing to do without the specularity map. 
Because the light definitely gave it away. That's the first thing that gave it away. What, she's real in here? But I can't enter grandma? But honestly, not surprising. Oh no, the artwork is getting worse somehow. Oh. But did you just come out of the picture? You're coming closer, huh? Okay. Was that glass? Okay, where's the next sequence? Of old ladies. Uh, time to hide in the closet. And my lighter blows out for the loading screen. Excellent. This place is like a damn labyrinth. No, it isn't. It's called asset saving time and performance. Are those roaches? I feel like this also sums up the game perfectly. The roaches are so fast, I can't tell if they're roaches or not. What, I go to the old lady? Hi. Hi, you juicy slag. God damn it. <laughs> Hey, turn your bear, cat damn it! Oh no, very happy family, but I ruined it. <gasps> the sins of the father. Huh? I got this strange feeling like I've been here before. Of course you have been. Huh? Three, four, five, six. Six hanging dead bodies with about three, six, nine doors. Symbolism. <laughs> Hi, kiddo. Sorry for killing you by mistake, I guess. Hold on, dad is in the closet. Oh, I don't hug. <laughs> Are you? Oh, you want to open the door? Uh, high five. Uh... Slap up and down, down below. Take care, kiddo. Go to university, eat apples, don't be a dick. And... Hi, you juicy slag, you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> By the way, that old lady, I've seen her somewhere. I've literally seen her in another game. I've literally seen her in another game. What's in here? Fingerprints. Manso Defson. Is it you that I'm looking for? I don't think so. I mean, Ohio Columbus. Blonde hair, blue. His name sounds like a parody of Deaf Man. He was born in 72, and the, the date of the fingers was in 96, and apparently he was a fireman. Um, and again, I don't know how you know the, the fingerprints since you're not looking them up, but okay. The X-ray seems to belong to a disabled child. I didn't know this hospital had the pediatrics department. Oh, poor kid. It looks like the doctor here paid very close attention to this patient. I think it will be very important for me to figure out who this girl was. Why is my character like very surprised about every small thing in a hospital? I don't even want to know what kind of experimental medication they gave to the people here. It's a propofazine. Just because I don't know it doesn't mean you don't need to know it also, Dr. Cop. Mono? I don't even want to know what kind of experimental medication they gave to the people here. They're just normal drugs, man! Are you stupid? Anastasia, is it also Anastasia? Um, yeah, sure, I guess you're right. Yep, locked. Just what I thought. <laughs> hey, kiddo! Oh no, the symbolism! Stay away from my daughter, you evil monster! Or maybe you're the- What is going on? Yep, locked. Just what I thought. Nah, uh, locked. Why would you have a jump scare there with a with door lock next to it? The player is going to get distracted by that. I guess the developers don't play their own game because you can tell by the AC units outside or inside in this case. What, the fresh power of Coca-Cola will save my daughter? <laughs> okay, okay, people might die with this, but I want to say this. Please take a shot. Just take a shot, just take an alcoholic beverage every time a door closes behind me. I think we'll all die before this game finishes. <laughs> Is my baby glowing? 
That's a very radioactive baby. Kind of toxic like me. Six years of illness, there is one previous hospitalization. Describes frequent recurrent attacks. 70% bipolar. I like how the voice actor is starting to skip lines. I guess they weren't getting paid enough anymore. Oh look, the door behind me did things. Did you just disable my... Where am I? I have literally no idea where I am. Huh? Oh. What the... Oh my god, if I move my camera too fast, the lighter goes out. What does this add to the game, honestly? Oh, I... I was about to tilt there for a second. I thought it went out by itself again. Well, like, not by itself with me. Okay, we... Okay, well, well I mean, you know, my, my skin is just saying. I don't know what the KKK are doing here. I seem to be very safe right now. <laughs> Can I help you? I shot, like, nine ghosts at the same time. <laughs> Did you just block my lighter again? You stupid bitch! Are you trying to bite me? What is happening? <laughs> Are you taking a pee, Crimson Snow? Oh my god, that's the Crimson Snow animation. Holy shit, man. So I have a question. What came first, the VR? Or the game, and then they just added the VR to excuse all the assets put together. Yep, locked. Well, I got my answer. Thank you, actually. Hold on, how is my lighter doing? Oh no, the roach is the size of SUVs! That coke machine is infected with bad drawing of textures and... Is the game trying to save on performance? I think the developers inverted the draw distance. Very impressive, honestly. Very impressive, I guess that's how strong coke is. What is this? Have you never seen an x-ray in your life, you stupid gun-wielding maniac? Well, looks like this one's gonna need a key. Your mom needed a key to just plop you out for the disappointment you wear. Okay, where's the key? Where's the key? Um, key. Key, do the roaches have keys? Yeah, shit, it's locked. Show me my minions where the keys are. I found it. What is this, a Petri dish? A very insignificant looking box. Strange. I wonder if those medications actually work. What? They gave this badge to people who managed to quit alcohol after a certain period of time. This is a way of celebrating their achievement. What do you mean this medication works? This is not a medication. Also, you've been alcohol free for like 51, 51 days. That is not impressive at all. What does even 51 days mean? That's less than two months. They make a new one every day. Nurse room. And some coffee beans. Apparently, that's what you use to stop taking alcohol. I don't even believe for a minute there was a kid in the wheelchair. Because I was looking at it, there was only a shadow. You know that game, Star Citizen, where it has billions of dollars by all the losers that keep on giving them money? Remember how they made the entire fuss about shadows being cast in first person? Especially for the head? Hey, guess what? Invisible secondary proxy mesh to cast a shadow. Literally every game engine can do that, but pl please, by all means, one billion dollars to do that. <laughs> one billion dollars for Star Citizen to do something this game is doing. What's in here? More people lighters? No. Your print matches with this one. But there's no name in the records. Has it been erased? Nurse. And from Ohio. 
black hair and the woman Oh, is that supposed to be the woman? Um, uh, alcoholic something. There's no telling what I'm staring at right now. Might be a cure for cancer or some sort of virus that brings people back from the dead. <laughs> Developers, please don't use assets, especially voice acted assets, if you don't know what you're doing. A mysterious medication. No, it isn't. My character literally cannot read. Uh, not, you know, American. Typical American does not read English. Oh no, the Coke bottle is further away from me now. <laughs> what was that sound? The sound of a door locking behind you. What, you don't even know what a door is now? I'm running out of American jokes at this point, man. I can't even say Americans can't hear. They hear very well the sound of gunshots from... American healthcare in a nutshell. Oh, that sound. That was in pure darkness. Even at maximum brightness, I didn't see anything. Uh, prosecution. Oh, it's the medication. It says here, treatment for alcohol addiction. Yeah, it's working. A document includes a package of a medication that provides information about the drug and its use, includes information. The, these side effects and ingredients are horrific. I'm sure this medication was not approved by the government. Should be quite illegal. Well, joke's on you because the government doesn't need to approve drugs to be sold. Fun fact. Uh, prospectors. Alcohol addiction. Threw them out. <laughs> I guess you don't take it up the butt. Side effects. Hallucination. Memory loss. Visual impairment. Personality disorder. And something else they didn't write down. The purpose of the medication is produced to eliminate the addiction of individuals addicted to alcohol and drugs. A drug to re get rid of drug addiction. And alcohol. Impressive. It's not in the final stage. The medicine is not in its final stages. In case of a possible side effect, you can go to a hospital near you for help. But I guess if this is not in final stages, the hospital would literally do nothing for you. You need to go to the source. The original hospital or the original seller. Nice butt, bro. <laughs> okay. Must have belonged to one of the child patients. What, the... Uh, the Anastasias? Yeah? Oh, I have to open it first. This must have belonged to one of the children here. Unfortunately, it's broken. Well, better that way. <laughs> okay, typical healthcare. It's just breaking down around us. Fuel! More fuel just to see something! Do you just do a silent. They just did a silent hill as well. God, every single cliche. At home on the table, court paper. What this is my home? That's me, Oliver Hamilton. I called it. Wait a second. Is this my name? What is this crap? Is this a joke, Liz? Do you <laughs> think this is funny? I swear, if this is one big joke, you better tell me right now. <laughs> Let me guess, Liz is someone to you. Also, oh my god, I was so close to what the document said. Holy shit. I was so close to what the document said. You know, I gotta say, horror games, honestly, they are all the same, aren't they? Careful, my trip on the carpet and die from some artwork. What was a rich cop? I had all this free artwork in my home. My wife left me because I was abusive. I went to job under the influence. I shot some people by mistake, including my wife and daughter. I mean, it feels like if my wife and daughter are dead, the court dismissal isn't gonna work now, is it? <laughs> I don't have a face anymore. What's the point of the number? The number would have been more interesting instead of having my name here, but you know, what do I know? Huh? No, no, this can't be real. It's just a stupid simulation. I haven't done anything. It's a horror game, you did. The patient Oliver Hamilton is a former policeman. He's the most dangerous patient ever, resor ever resorted 
What do you mean resorted in facilities? Hospital officials are afraid to go near him. It's very hard. It is really hard to keep him detained under these conditions. He was involved in multiple victim homicide incidents in which his spouse and one or more children were slain. He was guilty of family side. After short stay in our hospital, he was taken to another center for his punishment. What the VR is like Guantanamo Bay? Except you know, it's like um, instead of instead of like hanging you, they just torture you forever because they want to see you suffer. It seems perfunctory. What I made all this artwork. I have the soul of an edgy teenager apparently, and apparently I found out how to use AI in 2008. Exactly what I needed. It's been a while. <laughs> hey, the Beatles! What, what, lighter in one hand and the alcohol in another? The bottle looks half empty. Someone should have been drinking from it. I need, I want to finish the rest. <laughs> press E to drink! After many years of press E to interact, press E to hide, press E to hold breath, and press F to show respect. In the year, in the year 2022 or 2023, we finally have press E to drink. Press E to drink. Finally, a game for real man. Manly man, big strong bulge. Where's my lighter? Where's my lighter? Where's... Can I drink? Maybe I'll get night vision if I keep on drinking? <laughs> oh my god now! Oh, I can't randomly shoot! Shut up, damn baby! I shot the baby because it was crying! That's enough! Ah! <laughs> Numb the pain of a crying baby! <laughs> I caught the gun! I, I wanna get out of this damn place! I caught my gun against the baby! <laughs> uh. <laughs> what are you doing to me? I don't know, why did you randomly shoot there? Is this liquid courage? Literally? Okay, the door hit from me. Did- how did I eagle eye the baby inside the dark room? Go. Yes? What, Lucy Hamilton? That was your name? No, no, this can't be real. This is just a stupid simulation. You're right, it is, because I can't see anything. Is that my inventory? No. Oh, this door here. With a black light. No, no, this can't be Lucy. Don't worry, I'll help you. I'm coming, darling, don't worry. <laughs> Truly a dad's love for their daughter is unmatched. Do I believe, like, the nurse took her, but that's not the case? I'm gonna get you out of here. I'm on my way. <laughs> Literally. I'm gonna rescue your soul out of the body. <laughs> By the way, I can't shoot. I'm gonna guess like it's a scripted event. I'm coming, darling. Don't worry. Oh, no. It's the final countdown. I have no idea where I am. Oh. My daughter is T-posing. Is it my bold daughter? My bold daughter is T-posing? I can't help... <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> oh no, there's no more signal in my brain. My brain doesn't work anymore. Stop. I love the way he just cocks the gun every time to shoot a child. Are we in a circus? What a clown world. I'm not afraid of you. You can't hurt me. Are you talking at your daughter? 
How did I know it was the daughter? It's a horror game with a bad dad. What do you think it's gonna be? There's no other child except little girls, apparently. <laughs> I haven't done anything. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> what? It's like a circus? People are watching me kill my daughter? This is how they get entertained? Like the purge? Up, damn baby. What? Oh, am I supposed to shoot the people? I'm not afraid of you. You can't hurt me. Okay. Oh, by the way, he shot by himself over there. I definitely don't have reaction times to shoot at something I don't see, you know? <laughs> oh no. I shot my daughter in chemotherapy. What have we done on this day? Lacey and Rose, most realistic interbrain VR simulator. Initiating connection with Tonyak Bot. Tonyak. I prefer Cognac. <gasps> Loading new simulation! I'm never free. I was inside the machines all along. I was a prisoner. I'm sorry, what are you? Control room? What do you mean control room? I'm controlling everything? Why does this remind me of Emika games? Good evening, folks. We have a breaking news. Country's one of the most closely watched criminal cases in 2022 against ex-police officer Oliver Hamilton. Today, on June 24th, the jury has reached a verdict on the case. After ex-cop Oliver Hamilton was dismissed from the police department for his alcohol addiction, and after his wife committed suicide by jumping in front of a subway train, <laughs> Hamilton began using illegal experimental drugs and substances. Officer Hamilton, who came to the point of losing his sanity due to the substance abuse and major depression, is known to have killed his own daughter. What is causing more turmoil amongst the society has become the involvement of the company destined to the case. Destined is a company known for the new generation punishment methods they are working on for murder convicts. Believing that prison sentences are insufficient, it serves a new punishment system. The company advocates to make convicts relive the guilt of their actions countless times and break their wills against committing any sort of crime. Meanwhile, conservative um. groups state this practice is unacceptable and that it would be trying to play God on mankind and says it is not a way to establish justice and peace in society. Groups already started protest against the Destined company. More. <laughs> These are the developers. <laughs> oh, it's the dog part of the team. <laughs> I'm gonna guess this outro had more effort put than the rest of the game. Who are you, the story writer? I can tell by the way you're holding that pipe. How is he even holding that pipe? Kind of ironic the person who's in charge of all the designs doesn't know how to hold a pipe. <laughs> I think she can see you, man, with your basketballs. Generalist? What's a generalist? What is gonna invade the country? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> what senior 3D artist, man? Man! I love it when they when they give themselves big titles, you know? It's always the same people. They literally did nothing. Like, like j a senior artist. What artist? Like, all these assets, what did you use? Is that Adam Diver? <laughs> 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 
See, it's very funny. This game is very funny. Now the cool guy in the entire studio killed the old woman. By showing the middle finger because he's the lead programmer that put a bunch of blueprints together and called it a day. And is about to clip inside the Hot Wheels. Oh look, the chess puzzle from... A Maternal Evil. Are you sure you guys had, like, programmers? I mean, I'm just saying, this is like something one programmer by themselves can do. Maybe you're trying to say you optimized the game? I mean, at least this game ran fine, but you know, these were like tight corridors, it has to run fine. The sound designer, okay, I mean, I guess the music was fine. What, the big M in the sky? <laughs> Meta Vision Studio. <laughs> eh, sure, it's full of visions. You guys definitely have the vision you're aiming for. Another, another layer of credits! They're so proud of this game, they put themselves two times in here. By the way, these are Turkish names, aren't they? It, it gave me that feeling of that game, I don't know if, if anyone recalls it, but there was a game I played. It also reminded me of Emika games, but it didn't have... Um, it didn't have that Russian feeling to it, I don't know how to explain it. It reminded me of that other game where like there was this... Uh, uh, for the sake of humanity, I think it's called All for Humanity. It had that very weird feeling. I wonder if these are like literally the same people, but they keep on changing studio names because they can't release a decent game or something. Thank you so much, Foul Destined. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, about a two-hour game with me fucking around a lot, of course, and commenting about everything, having a verbal diarrhea, you know, that's me. Uh, but uh, it is a... It is a Unreal 5 engine, it ran fine, but at the same time it should run fine if it's just like small tight corridors. Um, the game is about 3 gigabytes, which honestly is fine. It's not actually, no, it's not fine, but uh, you know, I've played, I've played games that are like bigger and worse than this. I mean, there's nothing to show other than all the acid stuff. Um, um, I've seen this character somewhere before. I just remember where, but I've seen that face somewhere, I think in a free game or something. I feel like it's pretty strange to have literally a company where it's just torturing people so they don't do bad stuff anymore when the bad stuff was the drinking. So technically what they're saying is drinking is a crime. And they shouldn't drink. And instead of solving the drinking problem, they're just gonna leave the drinking problem in there. I think this this game is very smart. It's a sociopolitical commentary. People would rather torture people for no reason and uh, stop them from committing cri crimes by, like, torturing them. And once they're done, they're like, yeah, deal with it. If you're an alcoholic, become an alcoholic. We don't care. We don't solve the alcoholic problem. We solve the problem of you not shooting little girls with a gun. On the other hand, if you stab an older woman, that is fine. But yeah, this is definitely one of those games which is just, uh, they put in together and then they use the excuse that it's all, ooh, in your mind with the sci-fis to, like, bypass any criticism you might have of the game, you know? I, I mean, you know, let's be honest, the things definitely don't connect with each other. It's, it's just like the newspapers from 1952, trying to connect with the year 2019 and 2. Very round the mill, again, positive reviews, we all know why. Can last case of Oliver all just be a small part of a bigger picture? Gather clues, unravel the mystery behind the case, uncover the truth. I mean, I guess you have to in order to finish the game. Which again, I don't believe for a second there was like something so familiar to those other games I played. Again, very on rails. No real gameplay per se. The, 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 the lighter gimmick, honestly, 
is so pointless because, for example, if a player is like really scared of the game, all you're doing, basically what you're doing is, is you're ruining the game because people are scared like of scary games. You know, I don't judge them, but uh, people are scared of scary games. They're going to be frustrated with this mechanic because I think they're going to run out of lighter fluid at certain points. And me, on the other hand, because I'm used to these games, this is nothing. This doesn't add anything to the game. It was annoying because I had to keep on doing it for the sake of the stream, because otherwise the compression is not going to show anything. So this was completely a useless feature. Uh, puzzles, not really. These are not puzzles. Picking up an alcohol bottle and pressing E is not a puzzle. There is no gameplay. You can't shoot even. Uh, but hey! Apparently, the Resident Evil games are compared to this. Oh yeah, apparently you can invert the mouse. So apparently, yeah, Dr. Haven says, apparently you can invert the mouse, both the X and Y axis. That is not how it works. But apparently that's what the developer did. They inverted both axes. You only invert like the up and down axis, you know, like an airplane thing. And apparently the login, yeah. I don't even know. Why they put the login thing at the start? I have no idea. I don't know what that added to the game, but they did. And yeah, it started off with a good story, but also it didn't make sense even at the start. Mouse sensitivity is very wonky. I guess the biggest compliment I can give to the game is that at least it's short and gets to the point. It doesn't drag on for six hours of the same thing. Even though for two hours they did close the door behind me every time. Just pointing that out. That was their secret to the loading screen. Close the door behind the player and switch off the light so the player doesn't notice the loading screen. That was their secret sauce.